Another key process that we must know how to do is to complete the square. And I'm going to go through three examples in this video showing you how to do it for very basic types like this. So the way that it goes is that I open up a bracket that's going to be squared. I have the x and then I have half of that number there, half the 4. So I have 2. I then want to counteract uh, the expansion of that bracket. Because if I expand that, I get x squared plus 4x plus 4. And you can see that I don't want that plus 4. So I take away the square of this number. Whatever it is, I take away the square of it. And I still have that minus 3 on the outside. So I have x plus 2, all squared, take away 7. So let's see it quicker in this second example. So I'm going to have x plus half the 10 squared, take away the square of that number, and I've still got that plus 4. So I get x plus 5, all squared, take away 21. Okay? So that's the second one. For the third one, exactly the same thing. Open up a bracket, half minus 7, so minus 7 halves, or minus 3.5, squared, take away the square of that number. Now, the square of that number will be positive, so take away the square of that number is minus 49 over 4. And then I've got the take away 5 from before. So this is x minus 7 halves squared. Now I'm going to write that 5 as 20 over 4. And so this is minus 69 over 4. And that is... I mean, that's the final completing the square in this case. So each time, it's the same process. You halve that number, so half 4, you get 2. Take away the square of that number, and then you've got the minus 3 still on the outside. So each time, take away the square of that number, and you've got the 4 on the end. Take away the square of that number, and you've got the minus 5 on the end. Okay? It's the same steps each time. 